Weather is keeping biologists from their annual caribou count. As KTVA 11's Daniela Rivera reports, the count helps determine the hunting quota for August. We have the Neltina herd here. We do the 40-mile herd. It's all about caribou for Nick Demma this time of year. It's the best opportunity to get the majority of the herd, you know, in a few number of groups that we can take photos. Every year, driven by insects pestering them, caribou seek relief together in massive herds, sometimes in snow patches or on a ridge line with a breeze. So anything to avoid the bugs. It gives fish and game wildlife biologists like Demma a small window to learn about them. That's about 2,000 caribou right there. Through a photo census. What these counts do will helps us enumerate the herd, but it also helps us to set our harvest quotas. That's due in August, but the herds haven't grouped up yet. It takes days of calm, warm weather. Hundreds of caribou across the state are wearing tracking collars like this one. Some send out a GPS signal, and that's what Demma watches. Each square is a collar. It's not exactly representative of what goes on out there because there's probably, what, 50 collars here, but we know we've got like 50,000 animals out there, so it gives us a rough idea. They wait for the collars to form a cluster, like in this photo from last year. That would kind of get us a little bit excited about at least going out and taking a look. That means time to fly. Using this World War II camera equipment, they'll take pictures. Then the lens cover's got to come off. That is an important step. Some of the film goes into a software program, and some photos will be counted by hand with a magnifying glass. Tedious work yes, with a deadline that gets closer every day. If we get a couple days of good warm weather, things can change pretty quickly. Demma's hoping that happens. He's ready to leave at a moment's notice as soon as he gets the call to count caribou. Daniela Rivera, KTVA 11 News. Now, if things don't shape up, it's possible they won't get all the herds counted this year. As for that World War II camera equipment, this might be the last year it's used. The department hopes to move to all digital gear next year.